Jagger, I thought it might be helpful to put you up side by side with, with, with Jake as a, a little bit of a visual on um, some of the things we've been talking about um, in your skiing. So, first off, you're going to notice Jake's going to use a lot of ankles and knees. And this is slalom, free ski slalom, all right? So we definitely want a lot of ankles and knees. And you really don't have that. It's, it's all kind of leaning in, you know, and hip. All right, you can see that. You can see the difference. Um, your, the, width, the width of your uh, feet and skis uh, moves around a lot also. And we want to have a consistent you know, kind of similar hip width throughout, which Jake really does. So ankles and knees. We talk about how, you know, imagine there's a clock on your, uh, right in front of your, you know, your ski tips, and we want to roll your knees, both knees, to 10 o'clock to try to turn you know, to the left and to 2 o'clock to try to turn to the right. So you can see, a little blurry, but Jake's using ankles and knees, getting himself with knee angulation, um, creating some body angles that get him to be level shoulders and the feet off underneath him. Obviously, you can see yourself more like that. So, put you on the inside ski. Oops. So, at a time where we'd really want your knees to be going this way you kind of have them going the other way all right so jake here is going to push it on here and you're going the opposite way so ankles and knees you know right here you can see your you know because of that you're really on the inside ski your outside knee is going to be wobbling around because of weight on that inside ski. Uh, so ankles and knees, you can see it there by him. Um, something we mentioned the other day, just I think, you know, your arms for slalom, just want to keep them out in front a little bit lower you know, somewhere around, you know, the waist height, a little, little above waist, um, just out in front the whole time. So I mentioned, you know, pretend you're carrying a cafeteria tray. I don't think that would be one big lunch if you're carrying that thing, right? So you have them really wide at times. They come in. It's just going to be helpful to quiet down a little some things by having them narrower and lower. Um, again, you can kind of see Jake's ankles and knees and, you know, look where, where yours are going. Another thing we've been talking about is you get yourself very hunched over. I mean, look, look where... You know, Jake is, you know, pretty comfortable, good stance. Got a little uh, little bend in, in the waist there. He's not standing straight up, obviously. His upper back is not straight up. But you get yourself sometimes really bent over and hard to get the legs to do much when you're bent over.
So we like to see Jake's hands a little more in, in front of him, but that's okay. Um, side by side, well, you're doing, you know, you're turning, you got a left footer going, he's got a right footer going, but you can see him. He's got like ankle flexion in both. His back is going to pretty much mimic the same angle of his shins. You don't really have much ankle flexion happening, right? And your back is significantly, you know, more bent over. So you're really hunched over in, in, in a sitting position. So we're trying to get you to stand taller. You know, we don't want you to stand up like a pencil. You know that? We've talked about that. But we're looking to get you to stand up a little bit taller on your upper body. Um, hopefully that would allow you then to use more ankles and knees better and get the skis off from underneath us better. So I know, I know we just we threw a lot at you right here. And it's not, unfortunately, there's only so much you can work on at once. So but we want to try to stand up a little taller in the upper body. We want, to, we want to narrow the hands and lower them a bit. We want to keep a consistent width of the skis. And probably most important, we want to really develop using ankles and knees. We need to edge the skis from the snow up. So we use ankles and knees first. Get the skis up on edge. We can move the hip to the inside when speeds warrant, but we got to start using ankles and knees. I hope this visual helped, and we'll work on it again this weekend.